Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Coach Fred Tagalog. I'm over here in the Philippines. I'm going to change the oil of this 2017 Suzuki APV. Now, the way I'm going to change the oil for this vehicle is the same way uh, to change the oil on any vehicle. Pretty much the same. Let me show you guys step by step how I do it. And let's get it on. On the Suzuki, I like to have plenty of room down there. I could do it without doing this ramp. I mean, I could actually do this without using the ramp. But because I have the ramp and I'm getting older and I don't have the, the flexibility anymore, I just put, want to put it on the ramp. As you can see, they're both in the ramp like that. And then for safety, you got the wheel chocks. Okay, that's that's how you do it. And then on the inside, let me show you guys. I got the handbrake on. I also got the uh, gear shift on second gear. Uh, you're gonna need a oil pan so you can drain the oil here. And this one's pretty easy. I'll open this up and then the oil will go down there. Anytime I'm doing any automotive work or any service, I put on my gloves like this. I know it's a sign of weakness, but look at my hand. It's nice and clean, guys. I don't want to ruin it. So I'm going to remove the bolt, the 17 millimeter bolt uh, of the oil pan. And I only have 16 millimeter box wrench. I need a 17 millimeter, but I don't have the 17 millimeter. I don't have all my tools here in the Philippines, but I have the socket. I have a eight, uh, 17 millimeter, so I'll use the 17 millimeter. I prefer not using the socket, but I don't have the wrench, so I'll have to use the socket. I just have to be careful I don't strip it. So this is the oil pan and this is the bolt so i'm gonna go counterclockwise counterclockwise going that way so because the bolt is point, pointing at my face i have to Give myself a clearance so when I unbolt this thing, this bolt's gonna shoot out because I'm gonna let it drop, especially if it's warm or hot. It's gonna fall in this oil pan and the oil is gonna be shooting out and I don't want that oil shooting out at my face. I got some napkins from Jollibee. It's a chicken restaurant here in the Philippines. So I'll have that ready in case uh, oil starts dripping everywhere. Here we, here we go, guys. I'm gonna go lefty loosey. Oh, the oil pan's warm. So I'm just gonna open this up, remove the bolt, and let it drop. Alright. Let me get my jelly bean napkin here. Yep. Alright, so for me, I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing drain overnight. Then I'll change the oil filter and then I'll fill back the oil and uh, we'll do that tomorrow. All right, so the next step is wipe everything here and then tighten up this bolt here. Uh, don't over tighten it. Just give it a nice snug. And then we'll move on to the oil filter right there. All right, so, so I have an oil filter wrench and I have the extension 
and the ratchet right here there you go guys so what I do here is I look for any gasket here left there's no gasket so that's what we want you want bare steel because if you leave a gasket here and you install the new oil filter it will leak all right so I'm gonna wipe that down but I'm gonna prep my oil filter right now oh man it's, it's sprinkling right now water's coming down rain's coming down while I'm doing the oil change so there's the new oil I'm using mobile 5w30 the manufacturer rec recommends 5w30 or 10w30 but I prefer the 5w30 and it's mobile it's a five quart gallon here or a five quart container I mean so what I'm gonna do is gonna get, I'm gonna get some oil and then smear it on the oil filter gasket all right so I got oil smeared uh, around the uh, oil filter gasket that's gonna get well that's gonna make this the uh, oil filter seal better so it'll prevent leaks so that's the uh, where I put the oil filter I'm gonna need to wipe that down make sure there's no gasket okay so it has to be bare metal like that all right so I wiped it down everything looks good and it's bare metal uh, make sure you wipe everything down though because uh, you want to be able to see if there's any oil leaks so I'm gonna tighten this snug I don't want to tighten it too much that it will be difficult for me to remove this in the, the next oil change just gonna make sure it's snug see that's why you put the oil so while I'm tightening it the gasket will just slide so that gives a better seal so right now it's pretty tight I'm just gonna use uh, a rag so I get a better grip Oh, that's freaking tight okay that's tight but I know the tightness is not overly tightened or too tightened or too much that I know in the future I can remove this with my wrench so when I'm tightening it I don't want to use any wrench because I don't want to cut up the oil filter I don't want to damage the oil filter so um, replacing it do not use any tools just use your hands all right, so this is tight. Let's do a double check. So this is tight. That's good. And then the bolt for the oil pan is also tight. I, I know I tightened this one. So this one you just tight snugly. You don't want to over tighten it because you're going to strip the bolt. So the bolt for the oil pan is tight oil filter is tight so the next step is to fill up the oil uh, itself and for the Suzuki according to the manufacturer it's a 3.5 or 3.6 quarts all right do not start your engine at all before you double check the oil dipstick you got to make sure there's an oil before you start so what I did is to make this vehicle level I had to roll it off the the ramp so now it's leveled I didn't start the engine and now I'm gonna fill it up with oil 3.5 uh, well, 3.6 quarts so almost four quarts so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fill it up with three and a half right now and then I'll use a dipstick to see where I'm at to see how much I have uh, to go Right now it's raining. It's on and off the rain here in the Philippines. But I'm not gonna stop. I need to finish this. Um, I'm getting my uh, sickness. What do you call this? When you start getting dizzy when you're laying down. 
uh, vertigo, man. It sucks getting old because you start getting all this illness coming out of, out of the woodwork, coming out of nowhere. And I can't prevent it. Sickness is sickness is part of getting old. So if you're old, I don't know. Can you still do this kind of job? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm doing it because I don't trust the mechanics here. Until I find a mechanic that I can trust, I'll be doing this by myself. It is what it is, guys. This is the Philippines. So, you just have to be careful. They're not regulated. Well, whatever. Let's change the oil here. All right, for the Suzuki APV, the engine is underneath the seat. So, this is the driver's seat. I have to lift it up. And I have located the oil filler. This funnel, I have to clean it up really good. Because I don't want any dirt going inside that engine. So you better clean this out first, the funnel. And do not start. So I pulled out the dipstick. The dipstick does not indicate any oil. And I open up the filler, the oil filter. And this will the rocker arms and stuff. Then I'm going to put this in my funnel. Right there. Oh, it doesn't really fit well, but at least it'll prevent... Um, large scale of uh, spill so I'm gonna put in three quarts this one has indicators here okay so I want to put in three and a half quarts I'll show you how this thing works so this is a five quart container so, so this is one two three four and then the rest are here will be five so that's the quart one quart, two quart, three quarts, four quarts, then five quarts. So I have to put in three and a half. So five, uh, five quarts minus three and a half. So you're gonna have to do the math here. So if I put in three and a half quarts, I should end up right here. Three and a half quarts right here. And that would leave me 1.5 quarts. All right, so I put in uh, 3.6 quarts. Um, and then, I, well, you know how to um, t uh, check your oil? Is you pull this out, okay? And then you wipe it. You wipe out the dipstick. And then you put it back in, all right, fully seated. And then you pull it out. And then you're going to see your oil level. Right now, it's showing about three and a half i mean excuse me right now it's showing half <coughs> excuse me it's half right now because the the van is a little bit um it's a little bit on a slope so we're not quite leveled so but i feel confident i'm showing three and a half right now on a tilted uh van and the manufacturer said uh, you i, I need 3.6 quart so I'm confident enough that I can start this car. All right, so now this is the double check. Uh, I, I checked the bolt, it's tightened. I checked the oil filter, it's tightened. And I put oil and I have um, 3.6 in it. I, I put the cover back nice and snug, put the dipstick. So now because of that checks, now I can start the engine. Oh man, it's raining right now. I'm getting wet. But it's all good. This is the Philippines, guys. In America, I don't change oil. Um, I get someone else to do it. But I still watch them, though. If I go on one of those uh, Jiffy Lube, one of those um, cheap, inexpensive oil change, uh, I prefer uh, that I watch them to make sure that they're doing it right. Um, most of the time, I take it to the dealership anyway. Because all my cars are brand new, so they're all covered under maintenance free warranty. Anyway, so I'm gonna start this up. I'm confident. All right, let's do a double check. The bolt for the oil pan is tightened, the oil filter is tightened, the oil cap is a bit back there, and then the oil the dipstick is there. So now I'm ready to fire it up. What I'm gonna do once I start, I'm gonna check underneath the engine to make sure there is no oil leak. 
All right, so before I start the engine, I wanna turn on the key on, engine off. Pay attention to this oil um, symbol here. So if I have enough oil in the engine and I did it right, once I start the engine, that oil uh, lamp right there, that's gonna disappear. If it doesn't disappear, I shut off the engine. All right guys, so once again, before I start the engine, I wanna turn on the key, engine off. Key on, engine off. Then I check for that lamp right there. I want that to disappear as soon as I start it. Okay, it's neutral. Fire it up. See how it disappears? So when it disappears like that, that means I have enough oil in the engine. So I did it right. So now I'm gonna check for oil leaks. All right guys, so there's no oil leak. All right, so this is my final check. I got the, the, the van leveled or I found a place where the car is level or the van. Wow, it's level right now. So if you're looking at the van, it's level. You see, it's not tilting to one side. So, I will check the oil one more time, the oil level. So I'm gonna pull this out, wipe it. See, I wish I had three hands. Um, so I'm gonna pull this out, wipe it, and put it back. After I put it back, I pull it out, maintaining the dipstick uh, pointing down so I can see the level. All right, so here's the dipstick. You, you notice that it's higher than the, the top um, line or the dot. So what I do is I flip the dipstick on the other side and that would give me a better reading. You see it's a little bit lower than the lower than the the top dip or the top uh, hole. So right now I don't, I don't think you can see it on the camera but it's showing oh, hold on But it's showing right there on the tip of my finger it's showing that that's where the oil level is at right now so the manufacturer said uh, the oil capacity for a, a Suzuki APV is 3.6 quarts and I did just that I filled up the, the uh, oil 3.6 and then, of course, I have to check for oil leaks and everything. So that now the oil is all over the engine and it's coating the, you know, the critical parts of the engine. Then I found a level place and I checked the oil, the dipstick. The oil, the dipstick oil is only indicating three quarter full, three quarter at 75%. So three quarter between the top dot and the bottom dot. I'm three quarter or 75 percent so that means I need uh, a quarter of a quart that's half of a quart because from the bottom dot to the top dot that's one full quart if you on the bottom dot and you have to fill it up all the way to the top dot you need one full quart in my situation right now is at uh, three quarter full so I need quarter quart, okay? So the manufacturer said all I need is 3.6 quarts. It was actually talking about the oil pan only, oil pan. Because the oil filter also takes oil. And that's about, that makes sense. That takes about a quarter quart full or quarter quart quarter uh, quarter of a quart to fill up the oil filter so the oil filter also um, takes the uh, the oil most manufacturer in the US they will indicate uh, 3.6 for the engine without oil filter and then 4.2 quarts with filter the Suzuki here in the Philippines, the manual doesn't indicate if it's just engine or with the oil filter. So now I know 
the manufacturer was only talking about the engine oil. It's not including the 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 fact that the oil also goes to the oil filter. So since the oil is in the oil filter now, I'm I'm missing quarter quart quarter of a quart. So I'm just gonna put in a quarter of a quart. Uh, so I'll be at the top level, and I will indicate full uh, with my engine oil. Now the question would be right now is why do I make and why do I need it to be full? With my experience working on cars as a professional, meaning I get paid to to work on cars, and as a journeyman, meaning I was at the level of working on cars without anybody's help and I did the time and the schooling my experience is if you don't fill up your oil um, there's a chance that you be climbing up the hill or uh, going downhill and if you don't have enough oil to lubricate your timing chain you will stretch your timing chain it happened to uh, three of my customers during the time I was a mechanic uh, journeyman mechanic. Um, so, with that experience, I like to keep my oil full. This Suzuki uh, APV, I don't know if it has a timing chain. I don't know if it has a timing belt. But with with my uh, experience, might as well just keep it full. I'll find out if I if I have a timing chain here or timing belt. We'll cross the bridge when we cross it. So here we go guys, I'm gonna fill it up right now. All right guys, that looks good right there. I'll flip it on the other side, right there. That's perfect guys. All right, so I'm gonna do a summary before I call it good. So I double checked the, the, the bolt for the oil pan, that's tight. The oil filter, that's tight. I put oil and I, I put it on the full level or full line and then the oil cap I put it back snug and then the dipstick is put back so everything that I touch is put back to normal and then that I call good and then the very last thing before I call it good good and also it's a good habit if you are a uh, uh, an owner or a car operator every time you start an engine you always check the oil lamp let me show you guys all right so every time uh, you're gonna start up your car that you care about engine on oh excuse me key on engine off look at the lamp and then i gotta make sure that all the oil lamp will disappear as soon as i start it boom that's it this this other lamp that's for my handbrake all right so every time you drive a car keep your eye on the oil lamp when you're starting your car the car that you care about if you don't care about the car who cares man just start it right if you don't care then who cares right but you gotta care as an automotive operator automotive mechanic and a car owner like me I'm, a, I'm an owner uh, I'm no longer a mechanic and I'm just helping out the the youtubers that wants to learn how to oil uh, change some oil and I'm here to help guys I'm here to help um, you guys can hit me up and I'll, I'll try to walk you through it but this should uh, make it fun for you guys I mean if you really want to do this stuff it's gonna be fun uh, I had fun when I was doing it but now I'm old I'm retired and uh, and then I get this uh, dizzy spell the vertigo I don't know where that vertigo come from or it came from Maybe because of that McDonald's, daily McDonald's, everyday McDonald's. But I love McDonald's though, so I can't blame it on them because it's irrelevant. Maybe I got this vertigo from 
having too much, you know, chicks, you know. She, and speaking of chicks, I got to take a shower. Look at this oil spill on me, Valdez. I got to take a shower. I got to meet somebody at the mall. I told that chick, got to meet up at the mall. I can't meet up at the house. All right, uh, YouTubers, couple buy on. If you guys need my help, I will try to help you guys out. And good luck to you guys, and I wish you all good fortunes. Coach Fred Tagalog with machine mods and, and doing all this stuff for you guys. For you guys, guys.